Hi all, welcome back to 10 Minute Insights. This is Victor Avalar, and today I'm coming to you from Sao Paulo, Brazil, at the Gartner I.O. Conference. Wanted to uh, give you a little bit of what I've learned over the last couple of days uh, in this short video. Uh, before I begin, don't forget, we're always looking for some questions that you think we can answer in 10 minutes or less. And uh, also give us a thumbs up if you like what you've seen so far. So here we go. Okay, so one of the things that I always like to do at events like this is look into the future. What are people saying about the state of the future of data centers? And one of the things that I learned was that there's definitely an uptake in SSD, these uh, solid state hard drives, as opposed to the uh, regular spinning hard drives that we uh, all know. And these have, this is it's having some in interesting implications with how to cool IT. You may have heard about liquid cooling. This is another future outlook for how to cool data centers. And uh, with liquid cooling, one of the uh, things that have been getting in the way of submerging the entire server into a dielectric fluid is the impact on uh, spinning hard drives. Well, if there's more of an uptake with solid state hard drives, that means costs come down and maybe with that uh, lower cost, more and more people will adopt SSDs. And if they do that, that's kind of like the last thing that we need to concern ourselves with when we uh, submerge into liquid cool. Well, there's other things that we can concern ourselves with, of course, but SSDs definitely uh, take that concern off the table. So now something else I learned, uh, and maybe this is not great news for, for some of you, but uh, this idea that data centers of the future will be more automated. And so what that means is we'll need less people to manage uh, the data center. So if you're on the IT side and you kind of look at what hyperscale folks are doing today with uh, on the order of 24,000 servers per one admin, uh, I'm not saying that enterprise data centers will get there anytime soon, but there, there is certainly a trend towards more autonomous data centers and using uh, technologies like uh, artificial intelligence to, uh, to help manage a data center. We continue year after year seeing the same four or five kilowatts a rack. Um, I think with, with the mention of liquid cooling and with the idea that uh, we're going to GPU type of compute for um, machine learning type applications, uh, even with uh, Intel type chips increasing in power consumption, we may see uh, the day in the next couple of years where uh, rack densities can reach 10, 12 kilowatts a rack on average. And if that happens, we really uh, should start looking seriously at liquid cooling solutions. Um, you know, I've even thought, what if we have a data center built strictly on liquid cooling, where you submerge all of the IT into a, um, a, uh, a dielectric fluid? What would that look like? What would the footprint of that data center look like? Kind of interesting. But again, future looking, Interesting to think about, uh, not something that all applications uh, would, be, would fall into today. Another interesting comment that I heard in a presentation was that um, you have this spectrum of different size data centers, starting with edge data centers or micro data centers that tend to be one rack to two racks, something very small, all the way out to 10 megawatt and more data centers. And an interesting observation is that as you get larger, you get more customized type data centers, whereas the small data centers, you can imagine one rack data centers being deployed in a more standardized way. That's not hard to imagine, right? You have smaller building blocks that are standardized, lower cost, and it becomes uh, more feasible to distribute those out to various applications. So in another uh, presentation that I was in, I, uh, I saw a slide I thought was interesting. It's called Emerging Technology Shaping the Data Center Facilities. And uh, so let me just go through a few of these that were up on the slide. Advanced battery technologies, and the presenter from Gartner was uh, clearly talking about lithium ion. It's, it's been taking off uh, pretty, uh, pretty successfully, at least in North America. And uh, we see more and more adoption of lithium ion batteries for various reasons, mostly about the fact that their lifetimes are longer than uh, VRLA or lead acid batteries. So that was an interesting uh, comment. Edge computing, uh, heard a lot about this throughout the last two days. 
uh, it is you know top of mind with people, and I think people are still trying to to learn what types of applications they can do within they can support within their own enterprise. Uh, but you know, if you're a retail, you're sort of already using uh, edge computing because your back office has IT supporting that business, specifically um, you know the point of sale equipment. You've heard of DSIM, I'm sure. DSIM is a way of managing data center physical infrastructure, power cooling, and whatnot. And uh, what I presented on was this concept of, in the future, we need a data center physical infrastructure management that takes advantage of data. Right now, this data is in all of these data centers, but it's siloed. And the way I explained it was that, you know, if you look at one data center and all its data, it looks like a puzzle piece. And a puzzle piece out of the larger puzzle, you can't really get much insight out of that. You put it back into a larger puzzle, and now if you step back, you begin to see patterns, you begin to see some insights. And that's kind of the metaphor for what this next generation uh, data center infrastructure management will look like. So it's basically cloud-based physical uh, data center infrastructure management. When you have a cloud-based system and you collect data from all around these thousands of data centers and put it in a data lake, you now have a repository of rich data that you can analyze with big data analytics and eventually machine learning to help you manage your data center. I gave several examples of uh, challenges that customers are having, like all these alarms coming out of nowhere and what do I do with those alarms? How do I triage them? Uh, these are some of the things that um, uh, cloud-based physical uh, data center infrastructure management will help you with. Another challenge is all uh, you know different systems, like you have BMS, you have the uh, electrical management system, and you have data center infrastructure management system that are in three separate places with three separate logins. Some of them you need VPN. Well, what if you could just do that from an app? Right? I mean, today you can deposit your checks into your bank account with an app on your phone. Why not be able to manage your data center with an app on your phone? And this is uh, where we're headed. Um, and then, of course, at the end, I gave an example of this, uh, of this new architecture. It's called EcoStructure. And uh, we actually have a good blog um, that, you, that our, Patrick, our team member, Patrick Donovan, wrote. Uh, so I welcome you to, to check that out. We'll leave a link at the end of the video. All right, well, thanks again for joining me. Remember, we're always looking for questions. I hate to keep repeating it, but we really would love to hear from you. Uh, hear what your questions are, what are your struggles, what are your challenges, and uh, you know, help give us some insight so that we can help you and many others with uh, similar questions. So again, thanks uh, for, for uh, tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.